Come on, this way. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, kidding me? And that's what you get, David. Welcome back to Cold Water, so welcome back to my Collins class boat, and uh, we appear to be in a whole heap of trouble right now, but I don't think things are as bad as they seem. And here's the reason, so we, um, we were sent to intercept some uh, Chinese diesel electric boats operating uh, near Japan, causing mayhem and havoc. Fantastic. Well, okay. Um, they were very elusive. They were very hard to find. So I ended up pinging them. Sonar with... regained contact on Sierra four bearing three zero zero. Pinging them with my active sonar because uh, I was getting nothing. And um, yeah, we got a, a barrel of problems. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let me see one two three four five Con six. Sonar. Noise maker bearing two nine eight. Con. Fire control. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra six bearing two seven five. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That's six uh, six torpedoes from a variety. It looks like five uh, Chinese submarines. Um, Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing one nine seven. It yeah that. That yellow torpedo to almost directly due west of me is a uh, one of my Mark 48s. Con that, sonar, noise maker bearing three one eight. That uh, that went stupid because um, I think I was turning it. Con sonar, Sierra six is classified as submerged submarine. When uh, when the wire broke. So, and, and if you can avoid it, you shouldn't do that. Well, yep. So now it's just circling, uh, waiting for a victim Con to fall. Sonar, Sierra 5 is classified as submerged submarine. To fall close to it, which is not likely to happen right now. Um, Con yeah, sonar, so. Noisemaker bearing 3, 1, 7. Got a whole bunch of problems here. But, thankfully. Shoot two one, aye sir. Thankfully, it would seem that remaining hidden Come is not one of two. them. Zero zero zero. Helm I. As you can see, we've taken out one. Oh, we've found a couple. Sonar lost contact. Sierra five. Last bearing three one seven. Contact breaking up. Taken out two now, uh, which is fabulous. And we've managed to avoid all of the counterfire. So this Collins class, for all of its um. Shortcomings, and and I, I like short things. It, it's speed twenty knots. It, it's um, firepower isn't bad. It can carry harpoons. It can carry Mark forty eights, and it can carry mosses. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four last bearing two nine seven contact faded. What more do you really need? Um, it's fairly maneuverable. Um, it's got good acceleration. Con helm steady course. And it's got decent sensors. I have yet to be picked up by an enemy torpedo, and I really shouldn't tempt fate by by saying these these things. But uh, yeah, I've I've yet to um, yet to be picked up by a by an enemy torpedo, so I don't know how well it ev evades torpedoes at, at close quarters. It looks like um, it, it looks like it can out turn stuff at close range, and it looks like. Um, when you turn hard, the knuckle that you produce might be bugged because you don't see it and it appears to be somewhere else on the map. So I may struggle to evade something close range and it's probably a good job then that I haven't had that experience. But otherwise, I mean, as we saw here, I was able to get out of dodge 
So when these uh, six torpedoes arrived in my vicinity, and I was somewhere over, over um, well, pretty much at the end of, of, of the trail that you see, that I got out of the way. I managed to avoid all of them. So that's impressive going. You struggle to do that in something like the Skipjack or even the Los Angeles, so uh, I'm very happy with how it's performed. And to take out two, it looks like there were four of them and not... Uh, and not five as I originally thought. There's a couple of um, civilian um, contacts up up here. So there's a kilo over here, and it looks like a song. I don't know that much about the song. Let's see, what have we got? Let's so go the other way. Song, okay. First modern Chinese submarine, okay. Um, 22 knots, that's, uh, that's quick for a diesel electric very quick. It's faster than me by a couple of knots. Oh, and standoff missiles. Yay! That's not a, not exactly something I would like to tangle with if I can help it. Um, as you'll see, I, I'm, uh, I'm keeping my distance from this Mark 48. I do not wish to tangle with this guy. It's my torpedo. I know how lethal these things are. No, I was about to say it looks like it's run out of fuel, but not yet. Well, I am going to uh, make Torpedo 1 active, and I think I'm going to ping its sonar. Yes, I am, actually. And the idea there is that, uh, again, I'm going to spook the enemy. So let's make it active now. All right, let's see if, um, if we get anything. Maybe some counterfire? Okay. No, no counterfire, but uh, the kilo is pinging with his active Com sonar. sonar. regained contact on Sierra four bearing two nine two. There we go. It's good to know. Let's go ahead and point this towards. Well, where's it going to be? It looks like it's heading south at some speed. So, um, Con sonar. Oh, there we go. Baker bearing two nine zero. Got it. Okay, that's that's good to know, right? I'm going to reverse my course. Come left to two zero three. Helm I. I want to find this song. The kilo has any coating, as I as I recall. Let's take a look. Yes, it does. It's very quiet. Good grief. It's an extremely quiet boat. It doesn't do it any good right now. As this Mark 48's um on the hunt. The next noisemaker is probably going to fool the Mark 48 temporarily, so I might just deactivate. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Deactivate the uh, active sonar. And then if it drops a noisemaker, we'll, we'll turn it on and see if it, uh, if it helps. Hello, boys. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 4. Last bearing 2. Seven contact breaking up. I mean, that's a bit of a letdown. It it didn't even seem to try. So, where is this song? Um. Yeah, the, the song is not that quiet. It can dive as deep as me. It can run quicker than me, uh, and it's very well equipped. I don't like the fact it's got standoff missiles. If I ping it with sonar, I can expect to get um. A torpedo dropped on my head. Uh, but I don't know how else I'm going to find it. Hmm. Well, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pause the recording because otherwise this will be a three hour video. And um, I'll be back when something interesting happens. Let me go ahead and uh, reload Torpedo Tube 1 though. There we go. All right. I'll be back. Two. Helm I. Oof, no word of a lie. We uh we found him, but I had to ping him. Um Deep Con C. sonar lost ah. contact. Sierra six. Last bearing two. Four. Eight. Contact faded. I'm gonna ping him again because I don't know. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra six. Bearing two. Four. Eight. Okay. I, Con I sonar regained mm -hmm. contact Got on it. Sierra one. Bearing two. Zero. Two. For what it's worth, um, I'm keeping my uh, sonar active right now, but I think I'm going to get out of dodge. 
Uh, ordinarily, I'd, I'd think about running south, but I think he's... Yeah, he's going to run north, it looks like. Okay. I'm already turning. Um, get my torpedo up to his depth. Does he have any other coating? Yes, he does. Okay, so there's no, not that much point in, in making the sun active, and we know that he's fired upon us. He's, uh... He's emboldened. He's coming right at me. Uh, yeah, I am going to disable my active sonar. sonar. Switching the passive search. And uh, make, make like a tree. Four, two, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. And leaf. So I fully expect uh, my con, torpedo. Sonar, con helm, steady course. I expect my torpedo to um, lose its wire, but before it does that, let me see if I can uh, disturb him, ping him out actively. I don't need that. That'd be fair. Let's Gun let's turn. Fire control. We've lost the wire. That was a good call. Let's let's um let's disable the active sonar because it's going to lose the wire, and I'd rather it just track this bad boy Gun down. Maneuvering. Making turns for two zero knots. With the active sonar disabled. So, um, we're retracting the toad array. I can go at full speed with this thing out. Um, but as you can see, it's a long toad array. It's, um, if you look just, I guess, just up from the, the close in toad array, you see it's being pulled in. Yeah. So, change the view here. We can, uh, we can watch it being retracted at quite some speed. There we go. I wouldn't be surprised if that's. That fluttering around makes quite a bit of noise in real life. It doesn't appear to be simulated, although making a lot of noise. Com right. Sonar regained contact on Sierra six bearing two four zero. We've travelled um, a good thousand yards since uh, it fired upon me. Com so sonar noise maker bearing two three nine. And he was about six thousand yards away. It looks like. It will take. And I'm notching the uh, incoming torpedo. What that means is I'm putting my, my course to be perpendicular to it, 90 degrees. Now it's going to be wire guided, so he may have guided it to me. I don't detect it yet. I don't particularly want to reverse my course. So I just got to get my head down and basically run with the ball. He's dropping his depth. That's good to see. Let's see if we can see him. Con no. sonar, noisemaker bearing. Not yet. Two. Three, eight. Um, I don't detect my torpedo, but I do detect him, so he's making a bunch of noise. Oh, that's why. He's doing 22 knots. Okay, um... It's gonna have to let this thing ride out, I think. That's... that's... okay. Um, I'm... I'm hopeful that the, the enemy torpedoes don't get close enough to me. Uh, we're almost 2,000 yards away from where we were originally. Let's uh, let's drop to ultra quiet and just take uh, take a look, take a listen. Even he's, um, he's approaching me. Bring so. shift for ultra quiet. Let's be a bit aggressive with the uh, with the engine. Let's uh, cr crank off the speed. I mean, we don't necessarily need to, but Back emergency. I'm, I'm going to. There we go. Wow. Eight turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. My toad array out. Okay. So it's not gone active, and I guess it's not wire guided because. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing two two four. Be fair, he may not know exactly where I am. Um, not at this speed, he doesn't. So. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with being 6,000 yards away from him. That gives me a bit of time to evade his uh, his torpedoes. Uh, Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two, three, nine. If he slows down, I should point my nose at him because that will minimise the, uh, the 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 contact. He's uh, the the aspect ratio of me. What I mean is, right now he's seeing roughly this aspect ratio as a big sonar. Return, and if you're seeing that, it's a lot smaller. Uh, but he's still doing 22 knots. He can't hear much over his own uh, his, his own 
engine is own uh, how fast it's going. So I'm I'm right now I think I'm okay. Comstar, last... noisemaker bearing two three nine. Famous last words. Very um. <laughs> oh look at that. Good grief. I expect there to be a brown trail behind that submarine, having lived and breathed that maneuver. It's not comfortable, shall we say. How big is this, this boat? 74 meters, how big are we? Well, it's about the same size as, as me. She's a little broader, shall we say. A little chunkier, maybe. Um, hashtag, things you can say about submarines, but not about your friends. Um, and uh, he's done a good job of evading that Mark 48. They're not an easy torpedo to avoid, because they're fast. Well, he's not evaded it yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, point my nose towards him, I think. Come left to two, three, four. Helm, I. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing two, three, six. He's getting that much closer that his, his, his return on a sonar is, is getting stronger. And uh, if if I were he and I knew where the enemy was, I would be uh, prepping a, a torpedo to, to fire at them whilst I'm evading their own counterfire or their, their own fire back at me. Now, he's not me, so he may or may not be doing that. But I'm not going to take that chance. That See how sluggish the, the columns classes when it's it's just doing five knots. I mean it makes sense, right? But wow that, that's sluggish. Cool. Nif Noisemaker bearing two three two. Nifty design at, at the back with the dive planes, but I guess it might compromise slow speed maneuverability. You make up for it at higher speeds though. Right, so we've dropped um, from I think I saw minus eight to minus eleven decibels on the active sonar. It helps a little bit. Um, not quite pointing straight at him. So, uh... Come left to two, two, five. Helm, I. Let's keep that thing going on. The Mark 48 has a, a nice amount of fuel, so, um... It, it's going to be pursuing him Con for a while. Noisemaker bearing two, two, seven. I think we, we might want to watch this. This could be interesting. <sighs> That is very close. That's about 80 meters away. That's it's not quite scraping paint, but Con, uh, helm. steady course. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wish to be doing that very often. That's that's not comfortable, and he's got nothing else around him to to divert to. Uh, if he if he knew where I was, he could head towards me, and there's a chance that uh, the Mark 48 will pick me up as opposed to him. He's going to be 3,000 yards away from that. Possibly four thousand yards. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, two, three. Three and a half thousand yards. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, let's keep watching this. He's dropping his depth. The Mark Forty Eight is circling overhead, but it's probably going to drop down and chase him. So um, let me grab a drink, grab a snack, and we'll uh, we'll watch this thing unfold.
Con sonar, noisemaker bearing, two, one, two. This might be it. Oh, that was scraping pain. This, uh, this enemy captain is, is uh, timing it just right. Um, that, I mean, hey, if it works, it works. If this thing were wire guided, I could probably help it get it, get, uh, have another another attack run almost immediately, but right now, of course, he's uh, reduced his depth. He's now capitating, and the Mark 48 is a few hundred feet below him. Uh, that's impressive piloting by the, uh, by the enemy captain. Hopefully it's not good enough, but... Um, Where'd he go? There he is. Ah, you see, his mistake. His mistake. He, he dropped his depth, so now it's going to turn back at him. He could have turned towards him and kept Con his... Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, zero, nine. Kept his shallow depth. Now, as it happened, he's still evaded it, and he's going, he's, he's heading deep, but, uh, so you, you... Well, you know what? Maybe that's where I go wrong. Maybe I shouldn't do that, and I do thinking that I can escape it on the, a little lesser depth. Well, 48 needs to drop its depth by several hundred feet now, because look at that. Um, he's coming back up. That, I think that, that that's a mistake. He should have kept it down low. But I, I'm... Clearly, I get it wrong, so. Yeah, there's the Mark 48 is now circling um, just a few feet under the surface. And it's just picked up the, the enemy submarine again as it, it dives down to, um, to pursue him. This is going to rinse and repeat for quite a while. So, uh, yeah. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, nine. I would hate to miss it when the when or if the Mark 48 gets this this guy. I could send a second one his way. Oh no no no! Kidding me? And that's what you get, David. Um, Con sonar lost contact. Sierra <laughs> two last bearing two three five. Contact I don't want to believe this. I mean, really? That's just bloody wonderful, right? That's what happens when you get com complacent. Now, did it blow up? Because I don't see it. Oh, no, it didn't blow up. Con, knuckle formed. Yeah, see, there's there's no knuckle there in it. Okay. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, six, last bearing, one, seven, three. Contact is in the baffles. Con, knuckle formed. It appears somewhere else, so I'm not convinced that it... No, it's not actually doing anything. Uh, Con, knuckle formed. That's not good. Passing 1,000 feet. That's really, really, really not good. Con sonar oh, no. Contact on. No, Zero, no, six, no. Barry, one, six, eight. Passing 900 feet. <sighs> Passing 800 feet. Con, knuckle formed. Uh, Passing just... 700 feet. Okay, I'm going to whine about it, but yeah, so you, say, you can go away. Right? Great. What about me? Passing 500 feet. It will teach me to get way too complacent. Like Passing 400 feet. I know better. I still did it. So. Con helm. Passing con sonar. We are cavitating. All right. I'm going to lead you right back to the enemy. Passing 200 feet. Hopefully. Passing <laughs> oh. 200 feet. Con knuckle formed. Seriously?
All right, boys. Everybody out. Uh, we got a sunroof here. We were uncontrolled flooding. The ship has lost. It's not a ship. It's a boat, and it's not lost. I know exactly where it is. It's right there. Um, should we go ahead and abandon uh, ship, chaps? Abandon the boat. No. <sighs> Sunk by my own torpedo. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Oh, that's someone else. That's not me. That's a diesel electric. So, yeah. Right. Well, I think that just about wraps up today's video. Uh, that is how you uh, make a right mess of um of the game. You uh, end up sinking yourself. So, way to go, Numpty. Nice little result there. Congratulations. Our crew has now lost all their experience, and I think as punishment, I should put myself in the sturgeon because that's going to be very difficult to uh, to do well in this campaign. But you know what? I probably deserve it. Well, like I say, that is about wraps up today's video. Uh, the next um, next episode uh, or the next video based in the South China Sea might see me in the USS Kavala SSN 684, but you'll have to wait a little bit for that. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.